demo, I will show you how you can easily set up your Roast API application. Of course, before you start, you need to have an account. If you don't have an account, you can go to telnox.com slash sign up, fill in your details and sign up. Once you sign up, you need to go to portal.telnex.com and you have to uh, have an API key, which you can go on the right hand side and create a new API key for yourself uh, and save it. Then you have to buy a number, uh, which you can do it under real time communication number and buy numbers. We have a separate demo to show how you can do that. But in this demo, we will be specifically focusing on how you can build your voice API application. To create a voice API application, you need to go real-time communication, programmable voice, and uh, underneath you have uh, voice API applications. You can click to create a voice app. Then here you can configure your application. Uh, here are some essential settings. I will be just saying test voice API application and then uh, you also need to select the latency um, you can select based on your location um, but I will be selecting latency to auto select the closest anchor site and then you need to enter a webhook for this demo I will be just adding uh, a webhook from this web page But of course, if you want to deploy your own webhook handler uh, via AVS or Google Cloud or DigitalOcean app platform, uh, we also provide basic webhook handler examples on our dev docs. And the other option is also installing an ngrock uh, following our ngrock setup guide, which we will be providing in the uh, getting started section of uh, voice API in our dev docs. So you can also uh, use that. The webhook site that I use is just for initial testing and this will not allow you to respond to webhooks. Then we have some advanced settings. You can enable hang up time. The automated one we added here is 30 seconds. And if no response to webhook, this will hang up. Custom uh, webhook timeout, uh, you can include it here. And also uh, the MTF uh, type, which is touch tone handling, which is automatically set to RFC 2833. You can change it um, as you like. Then uh, this is the basic setup. Later on, we move to inbound settings. Here, uh, ticked codecs. If you want to include the other codecs like Opus, you have to uh, click on them. We don't have to do anything for this to have a basic voice API application. Then we go to the outbound settings. Use the default one, or you can use the one that you created while you were creating SIP. Uh, from here, I go next, and then you have to assign a number. Here, I will be assigning this first one. Then you just say complete and view my application. Here it is. This is how we set up our first voice API application within just a few seconds. You can copy this application ID uh, to use in your um, voice API comments and then later on go to our dev docs and get our uh, inbound, outbound, text-to-speech, speech-to-text API comments and you can embed this application ID in there to do the calls. Thank you.